Hello and welcome all. If you are new to my channel, I just want to give you quick introduction about my channel. So in this channel, I make videos related with learning. Learning can be anything. It can be science related. It can be maths related. It can be GK related or can be any other interesting topic. So for today's video, I have taken the topic of the magic square and especially the odd numbered magic square. So let's see in this video, what is a magic square? How to fill the magic square? What are the rules? What are the exceptions? So let's proceed. So let's see what is a magic square. Magic square is a grid with n into n cells. Each cell in a magic square is filled with distinct positive integer number where numbers give the same sum if added horizontally, vertically or diagonally. So this property of the magic square makes it magical, where the sum of the cells, if we are adding them horizontally, vertically or diagonally gives the same sum. So this sum is also known as magic constant. Some people call it mod magic sum as well. So, uh, this sum can be calculated through this given formula. But we have a condition with this we will get this sum as per this formula only if we are using numbers in a square from 1 to n square only what it means that it means that if we are using 3 into 3 magic square and we are using number 1 to 9 only to fill that magic square then only the sum will come through this formula if we are using any other set of numbers, then definitely we will get the different sum, which will not come through this formula, okay? So now, it is clear that what is a magic square? So we will see what is an odd numbered magic square. So any magic square having n rows column where n is odd number known as odd numbered magic square. The smallest odd number magic square is 3 into 3 magic square. I know at this point a question might come in your mind that why 3 into 3 is the smallest magic square Why though the smallest odd number is 1 because see 1 can't make any rows or columns it will be just one cell so it will not be sufficient to make a magic square that's why the smallest odd number magic square is 3 into 3. So other odd numbered magic square can be 5 into 5, 7 into 7, 9 into 9. So as well this goes on. Okay. So now we are clear with what is a magic square, what is a odd numbered magic square. We will see what are the rules to fill odd numbered magic square. So rule number one, which is very important and it can be used only once in while filling the magic square is that place the number one in the center of the top row. We will use rule number one only once because it gives us the starting point. And as we know that we can fill one number only once. Okay that's why so the rule one is this one so what is rule two rule two will be the rule which we will use most frequently while filling the magic square because after filling number one we have to know where we will put our next numbers so we will use rule number two rule number two says fill rest of the numbers sequentially moving upright diagonally so what it means moving upright diagonally okay so let's see it. So we have a square. This is a 3 into 3 magic square. Suppose at any point we are at this cell. Okay. So we are at this cell and we have to find what is our next cell for the next number. So we will use upright diagonally. So we are going upright diagonally and we are coming to this cell and we will place our number here. Similarly, at any stage, if we are at this cell and we have to find our cell for our next number, so we will go upright diagonally and we will place our number here. Okay, so I hope rule number one and rule number two are clear to you. But life is not that easy because we are at a square, so there will be chances that we will never always be at that uh, position or in the cell where we can move upright diagonally so we have few exceptions to rule number two okay so let's see those exceptions so first exception says if we are at the top row of the square so suppose we are here so we can't move upright right because we are already at the top row there is no place or no cell right upright how where we will go upright so in that case where we will go we will move to next column okay let's see we are here okay 
so we will go to the next column towards right which is nothing but this column and we will move to last row and we will place our next number here okay let's see the exception two exceptions to exception two says if we are at the last column of the square we will move to next row towards up of first column so if we are here we are at the last column so we can't move up right because there is no next column right so what we will do we will go to next row towards up and then we will go to the first column and we will place the number here okay let's go to rule number three uh, sorry exception three so exception three what it says it says if we are at the top row and last column of a square we will move to bottom row and first column of a square yes you are right in judging that this exception is a combination of exception one and exception two because exception one was talking about top row exception two was talking about last column so here we are talking about top row and last column and uh, what it says if you are at the top row and the last column we will move to bottom row and first column of the square so we will place the number here and just like rule number one this exception three of rule number two can only happen once in any magic square because there will be only one chance where we will have a top row and last column okay so now come to exception four which is the last exception to rule two and it is really really important so what it says it says if the movement take us to the already occupied cell we will place the next number to the direct bottom cell because see i have already told that in each cell we can only fill on one number okay so at any point we are here and we have to move up right so we are not at the top row we are not uh, last column right so we can move up right but this movement taking us to the cell which already have the number so where we will place the next number in that case we will go to the bottom cell and we will place our number here okay so these were all the rules and exception in theory let's see them in practical way and that will make these rules more clear to you okay let's start so because 3 into 3 is the smallest odd number magic square it will be easy to understand i have started with this square only so we will use our rule number one rule number one says place the number one in the center of the top row so our top row is this row or which one is our center column so one two three we have three columns so this column will be the middle one will be our place where we will put our number one so we have put the number one okay so we are good with the rule number one now comes the rule number two and it exception sometime we have to use the combination of rule two and some of its exception so let's see how it goes so we have put the number one we have to put now number two so where we put the number two we are already at the top row so top row is exception one exception one says if we are at the top row of the square we will move to the next column towards right and last row so we have found the position for our number two we will place the number two here okay so now let's see where the number three will go so with number two where we are we are at the last column so last column is nothing but the exception two so exception two says if we are at the last column of the square we will move to next row towards up and first column so we will place our number three here okay so now we are already at um, this cell number three and if we use rule number two what is rule number two says move up right diagonally because see we are not neither at the top row nor we are at the last column so we can move up right but in this case moving up right takes us to the cell where we already have a number one so here comes the r exception four which says if the movement take us to the already occupied cell we will place the next number to the direct bottom cell so we will place our number four here okay so now we have one two three four next number is five so five for five we can use rule number two simply because rule number two says upright diagonally and we have a space to move upright diagonally we'll place the number five here and same goes for number six so we will place number six here oh wow our magic square is almost well okay so let's see 
again where we come we have came to our top row but this time it's combination with last column as well remember top row last column is exception 3 it says if we are at the top row and last column of the square we will move to the bottom row and first column of the square okay so we have come to the bottom row and the last column see uh, sorry bottom row and the first column but what happened we already have the number 4 here so what we will do in this case again the, comes the exception 4 in the picture which says if the movement take us to the already occupied cell we will place the next number to the direct bottom cell so we will place the number 7 here okay so now it's turn for number 8 for number 8 we will use the exception 2 because we are at the last column so exception 2 says if we are at the last column of the square we will move to the next row towards up of first column and we will place the number 8 here so now only one number is remaining which is number 9 either we can put it simply here because one number is remaining one cell is remaining and we can place it here otherwise we can simply follow our rule and as per exception 1 we say if we are at the top row of the square we will move to next column towards right of last row and we will place our number 9 here so friends here is our 3 into 3 magic square all filled but remember i have put that said that already that numbers of the magic square if we add them horizontally vertically or diagonally should give the same sum so let's check whether it is giving the same sum or not but as we have used number from 1 to 3 square which is 9 so we have used number 1 to 9 we can get the magic constant or magic sum using this formula so this formula is giving us the magic sum as 15 so let's check whether we are getting 15 or not so here i have added 8 plus 1 plus 6 which is giving 15 3 plus 5 plus 7 which is giving 15 4 plus 9 plus 2 is giving 15 so all rows are giving 15 similarly if we add columns 6 plus 7 plus 2 it is 15 1 plus 5 plus 9 it is also 15 8 plus 3 plus 4 is also 15 so columns are also giving 15 similarly if we go for the diagonals 8 plus 5 plus 2 is 15 4 plus 5 plus 6 is 15 okay so we have seen that how to use the formula how to use the rules to fill the magic square and we have verified that it is giving the same sum everywhere okay so if we use same pattern we can fill any odd number magic square now for my next example i have used 5 into 5 magic square and plus let's first calculate the magic constant for it so magic constant will be 65 in this case because we will be using number from 1 to 5 square that means we are using number from 1 to 25 only to fill the magic square of 5 into 5 and using the same rules and exception i have filled this magic square of 5 into 5 and here you can verify that the sums of rows as well as columns as well as diagonals are coming as 65 so friends these were my explanation related with magic square odd number magic square and some examples so i hope you like this video if you like please uh, click the like button of for this video and uh, share it with your friends and uh, kids in your family if you think it can be helpful for them as well and please subscribe to my channel it's free and thanks for watching this video